Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm today. So I am back again, and I know it's been a month. I still can't figure out my schedule, and I know a lot of people are mad, but you know, I'm sorry for that. I will still be trying, but it's just a bit tough right now. Today I am back, and I'm back with some of my classic videos. I'll be giving out tips and tricks, but this time it's a different type of tip and trick video. It's going to be related to the Crooker classes. And I will be giving tips on how you should use them. So I'll be giving out tips to the AK, to the SMG, and what you should do to take advantage of it. I haven't played Conquer in so long, but uh, I still know what I'm talking about, obviously, because uh, I play this game a lot. And I'll still be trying. My account has been pretty, pretty dusty. It's been looking like the Sahara Desert. It's just empty. But, basically, uh... That's what I will be doing today's video. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, so the first one we have is the Triggerman, the Assault Rifle, which is pretty much, uh, I called this before, everyone's best friend when they first hop into Krunker.io. This is pretty much your best friend when you first hop into Krunker, which is still true to say, and it, it will probably be true forever because it's the first gun you pick up unless you go to customize and, you know, you pick up another gun, but... In most cases, it's everyone's first uh, gun in Crocodile.io. The first gun that they, you know, hop in to a pub server, to a pub game, and play with. So basically, the AK is, uh, it has a good amount of damage. Uh, the tip that I can give for this one is to abuse movement and uh, have great aim when it comes uh, to uh, dominating your opponent. Basically, what I mean by that is just have great aim. Try to have great aim while you try... Uh, abuse movement and aim at the same time which basically means side hopping and tracking your opponents like back and forth which uh, helps a lot and also make sure you're aiming at the head uh, if possible like try to abuse putting your crosshair in their head while you're tracking and shooting them because it's gonna be easier for you you're gonna kill them faster uh, it's gonna take less time basically and you're gonna get damaged less because if you're aiming at the body or somewhere around like the legs area you're gonna get damaged like quite heavily i'm not sure how much but maybe a little bit i think it's better to be safe than sorry so just aim at the head if possible so it's pretty much a basic tip because that's all you can get from the ak i mean the fiber has been reduced a lot it's been nerfed it's been buffed nerfed again but uh, it's still reliable if you can abuse it so the next one we have is the sniper rifle the hunter uh pretty much hunter is one of the most powerful freaking classes in this game uh one of the most powerful guns one of the most you know overpowered guns people are literally saying that the health like should be reduced or something like the the yeah it's just ridiculous i don't even know but yes people say a lot that you know this gun should have four bullets and all that the health should be more here you know, it should have like 90 health which uh, you know is objective but for like for like a crunker pro player this gun is insane but from like a standpoint of a um you know just a casual player uh this is uh still a great gun basically what you have to do with uh, the hunter the sniper rifle is uh you have to abuse having accurate shots basically not miss uh on a, on a certain you know opponent basically that's what i meant it's kind of different with the ak because with the ak you're you're literally it's like a it's like a free it's a free uh kill basically if you miss your your first three bullets you can still keep spraying on them because you have like 30 bullets with a sniper if you if you miss one you can possibly just die they can just counter you so what you have to do is be precise as possible you know when you're scoping in make sure the crosshair the scope is on the opponent uh, body or head when it comes to the lmg it's gonna be a bit hard because you, despite you hitting them in the head they're still gonna have you know uh, health so what you gotta do when you click on their head or on their body well whip out your secondary and spam them so they can die so yeah that's my tip on that uh sniper rifle or the hunter class is pretty much one of the hardest classes or one of the hardest guns to master in this game just because of um, the precision you have to uh, get when it comes to aiming and it's definitely harder than the ak so the third one we have is the running gun the submachine gun one of my favorite classes it's just pretty much the same thing with the ak with a trigger man but you have to abuse the movement on the smg back then back in the day 
if you guys were around like 2020 the smg is one of the most overpowered guns ever that you, can, that you can just glitch out out of the fucking map you can just wall wall jump out of the fucking map it's getting abused in comp and pubs everywhere it was crazy so the you know the jumps were nerfed but there was still this day i think it's still reliable so what you want to do is abuse having great aim uh abuse have abuse the wall jumping feature that you can jump off walls glide off walls and uh, abuse those because you can literally throw off your opponents you can literally just get around like the side of them and surprise them like how the fuck did you get there and especially if they're new players they're gonna have a hard time they're gonna be confused on why there's spider-man on a fucking minecraft shooter game this class is very fast it's like speedy it's like lmg jr you know while lmg has the fast the slower fire this is the faster fire and it's like smaller in a way than the lmg that's my tip on that gun but so the next one speaking of the lmg we have the lmg the spray and pray machine gun <laughs> you guys know me for my videos on you know pub games like just moving around slide up and trolling random kids on pub games uh, which is a classic but it is a this is a pretty interesting class because uh it takes a while to build up speed when it comes to the lmg you have to like keep slide hopping keep slide hopping keep slide hopping to build momentum basically and what you want to abuse here is that the main thing you want to abuse here is movement after that after movement what you want to abuse is aim the same thing but you have to be wary because the lmg fire the lmg fire is pretty pretty slow a little bit slower than you know any of the guns so what you want to do is just abuse your movement i'll learn to strafe because it will make you faster learn to strafe and put your crosshair on the opponent and just keep spraying on them keep tracking them you can get more than 300 speed you can get more than 500 speed with the uh, lmg also one more thing uh, if you want to start out uh what you want to do first is basically just slide up back and forth until you build up speed and then you can get moving you can go zoom around the map and track around people and not a lot of people can track you this uh, unless if unless they have great aim unless they like play callbacks or aim level up then it's gonna be a bit hard but uh, you can still fight back but most of the time that's not the case most of the time you can just run and gun with a freaking machine gun and kill them all so basically abuse your movement because you can get awfully good speed with this uh it's uh it's one of those classes with like with the most fastest movement in the game you start up slow but you end up being fast as fuck like the flash so abuse that and you also have like a ton of hp so you're not gonna get one shot by anything only the sniper you're not gonna you're not gonna get one hit but like you're gonna be like dink low and they can whip out their uh, pistol so what you want to do with that just abuse movement go back and forth and uh, shoot them back because you're like a, a bit unstoppable you know that's why i use this class and that's why i have the mastery because this class is insane so the next one we have is the shotgun vince shotgun whatever you want to call this fucking gay class shot noob shot gay whatever uh it's one of the most it's one of the most op guns in the game forget what i've said you can you can get one shot by a uh, shotgun when it comes to lmg but only in close range anyways this is one of the most op classes in the whole freaking game since the beginning back in the day this gun this gun's range is just the most fucked up thing ever that like you can be from mexico while i'm from fucking cuba and i can shot you like in that range you know i don't even know what i'm saying if that was correct but that's it this gun what you want to abuse here is being annoying as fuck same thing abuse movement of course but you get a corporate uh, shotgun jumping so what that means is basically you you shoot at the ground and then you uh press your space bar at the same time so like shoot jump shoot jump basically uh sorbel made a video on that and if you want to watch that go on this it's on the screen right now like look at that and i will put the link in the description box down below as well so you can learn it it's still viable to this day so what you want to so what you can abuse there is your slide hopping and then your shotgun jumping and then shooting them while you're at midair you can abuse that or you can also abuse uh shooting off the walls you can literally bounce off the walls by shooting at them right there in the screen right now i'm showing you 
and yeah it's pretty freaking annoying when you're just trying to track a shotgun and they just bounce off the wall and then they kill you you can abuse that as well and you can also abuse the normal ones you like sign up and back and forth and shooting someone with a shotgun this is viable if you don't want to do too much because of the fact that shotgun is one you know shotgun is a one hit weapon so much in this game are close uh close game scenarios what i mean by that is like everyone is so close to each other like the next uh few seconds they're far away from each other and the next two seconds they're like close to each other so much and you can abuse that by basically just using shotgun which i don't recommend don't do it because you're gonna ruin people's nukes but if you want to be an absolute dickhead you can do that for free and yeah you can also camp with this gun if you want to be more annoying you have to, you can camp with this gun and they're just gonna try to kick you they're gonna shit talk you and the next one we have is the detective or the revolver so this gun is also one of the most op op classes in the whole freaking game bro this gun is insane okay it's like a three hit uh to the head i think or two hits or something but what you want to abuse here is the same thing uh, having precision and uh having precision on your first bullet basically i think it's a bit easier than the sniper because you can spam this a little bit it's also the same thing with the ak the fiber of this gun has been nerfed a lot which i'm really sad about because the revolver was one of the most fucking amazing classes ever amazing guns but uh you know the fire was nerfed so it's like a poor man sniper it's a sniper without a scope that's what it is and you see people like i don't know like magic tool like roadman back in the day abusing the revolver which is pretty insane uh and yeah abuse having great aim this because if you can master first bullet accuracy to the head like a few times or even to the body you don't miss a lot with a the revolver then you 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 you're, you'd be unstoppable like you're unstoppable so the next one we have is the marksman or the semi-auto so the semi-auto it's the same thing with the revolver same thing with the ak the fire rate of this gun has been nerfed you know back in the day you, back in the day you can spam like you can spam this like continuously and then get those you know like four uh, hit kills but now you have to like wait for a bit to spam this gun so you can spam this gun which is a bit sad because i, th I think that nerf was ridiculous you know sammy was like built for that and it's kind of sad they nerfed it but what you can do here is basically the same thing with a revolver uh but you have to like keep tapping them at the head if possible and uh you have to improve your tracking with this gun because this this gun is not like the ak with the ak you can just like hold your left click and track them but with this you have to like keep clicking it you know while you're tracking it which is a bit hard uh you have to adjust your sense if you're you know having a bit a bit of a hard time which i recommend don't force a sensitivity you're not comfortable with change it or lessen it imp increase it if needed if you think that's what you should do and the ads on this gun is pretty pretty you know close so i think it's a pretty helpful thing to keep in mind it has high damage good speed uh, it has less recoil it's a bit easy to use but at the same time it's also a bit hard because of the tracking if you're especially a new player because you know people uh a lot of uh people know how to slide up unlike back in the day uh they just you know be hop they just jump around they don't slide up but now everyone is literally flash jr which isn't good but that's that's what happened so you have to like you know commit to like you know being used or getting used to you know what people are doing in this game for like the past four or five years now and you have 90 hp is like basically uh more than the sniper so uh you know you have to like really really like take care of like of your health and uh utilize aiming abilities here and stuff and you have like only a few bullets so be sure to uh utilize that and don't waste it on random bs like shooting at a wall or something for no absolute for absolutely no freaking reason don't do that next one we have is the rocket launcher so rocket launcher is also one of the most annoying classes in the game because it's like i think it's like a one hit i think or two hit uh if you basically if you direct hit it to someone it it, it 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 just kills them and you know it's one of the most annoying things ever if it happened to you i feel i know the feeling and uh, if you want to get good at this class uh, you also 
have to do the same thing what you do with a shotgun because you can also i think you can also bounce off the walls and also you can jump on uh you know you can go up in the air just like a shotgun jump this is a rocket jump now though so you can do that as well and while you're at the, the air you can shoot them and yeah direct hit them they die it's like a shotgun but it's uh you know it's like a nuclear shotgun or something like that it's the same thing and uh you have 120 health so you're like lmg but a little less and you're like a rocket nuclear or something like that you have 120 health in this class and uh you can abuse the movement you have while being annoying as fuck and uh you know be sure to direct it at someone don't shoot at the ground to like you know spread that damage uh, just shoot it at the opponent, bit, like directly shoot it at. That's how it's gonna work. Well, so next one we have is the Akimbo Uzi. So the Akimbo Uzis, this class has been buffed a couple of years ago, and uh, I think this class has been pretty viable. You know, back in May or something, I forgot when it was added, when it was added or June, but um, June 2020, the wall jump feature was added. It was added on the Akimbo Uzis and the Runner, I think. And yeah, Kim Uzi's has been one of the most reliable classes ever. But one of the things you should abuse here is the same thing with the SMG. You have to abuse the movement, the wall jumping with the Uzi's and aiming at the head. Because uh, the Akimbo Uzi's don't do much damage uh, as the, the SMG. And you also have to like be a bit close range when it comes to this. Or, you know, small medium range as well. Because when it comes to long ranges... Um, it's not gonna work pretty well. You're just gonna get obliterated. So try to abuse uh, close ranges, and it also works in small, medium ranges. But I suggest just to stay close, and you know, abuse your movement and stuff as well, and uh, spray it on their heads because that's how you know you're gonna get the easy kill. It's a bit harder than the SMG because you know you have to abuse the ranges, how close you should be, how far you should be. With the SMG, you can be close range, you can be medium range, you can be long range, and you still kill them. But when it comes to this class, it's not the same thing. So the next one, we have the crossbow. So the crossbow, back in the day, the crossbow was like a camouflage, freaking looking like, you know, I don't know. The cross, uh, this is like a, you know, it had like hit, it had like, you needed to, you needed to hit like a timing. So you can get a kill, but now you can just charge up your gun and you can basically just kill them It's much easier now back in the day. I'm not gonna lie I think they should bring that like old crossbow back like make a version 2 of the old crossbow and Put it there again because this class has been like one of the most easiest to use and it's just overpowered um, Despite it, you know having a nerf of charging up. So what you want to abuse here? Being accurate as well because we're gonna when it comes to the crossbow uh you have to charge up your gun, and if you charge it for too long, it's gonna cross out. You're gonna have to charge it again. So basically, you have to be accurate first try, and tracking them, and then you release your uh, left click. And yeah, that's all. Uh, ask a fellow crossbowman what they think. You know, should be like the thing you should be doing. And you can also camp uh, spawns with a crossbow, which is, is gonna be pretty annoying. And <laughs> yeah. The next one we have is the FAMAS. So the FAMAS, one of the most underrated class classes in the whole freaking game. The Commando, the FAMAS, the Commando with this FAMAS. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty darn good. Pretty damn good. Uh, what you want to do here is though, it's not, it's to not waste bullets. You have to utilize your three bullet burst at uh, a certain opponent. So you have to have great tracking. And you have to utilize your three bullet burst because you don't like automatically shoot with from us you're gonna have a three bullet burst and then stop for a bit and then have another three bullet burst and then stop so you have to abuse that because it has crazy damage uh if you can abuse that people will be literally like accuse you of hacking because like you're controlling it so well so the next one for the blaster same thing with the the bowman the trooper the blaster i don't really use this a lot I tried it for like a few times, but I'm not the biggest fan of this gun. Uh, same thing. I have really nothing to say. You have to be accurate with the with the with the bullets because it's the same thing with a crossbow. You know, you have to have a bit of like a timing or something, and it's also not automatic. Like it's the same thing with the FAMAS. So the next one, we have the combat knife, the runner, the trolling class. I don't really know. I don't even know what you guys want me to say for this one. 
is a beast movement because you you have a knife that's that yeah so so we have the new one the charge rifle the newest freaking class and the newest freaking class i don't know what to say with this rifle it's, it's it's a bit of a weird one it's like a sniper crossbow alien blaster automatic gun the character looks fucking weird as hell even but uh what you can do here is abuse like the uh, the charge thing because you can have infinite bullets with this i'm not sure if that's still true but uh i haven't played it in a while so what you can do is like charge up the gun and keep shooting but don't make like the charge fill up and because if you fill it up then it, you're gonna have to recharge it again so just make it keep shooting while it's happening and stop shooting and then make it when it's half again basically i guess a good tip and you can just abuse that while having great movement as well which is pretty good uh there's a demonstration on screen Oh, by the way, you kind of have, like, infinite ammo unless you shoot your final beam. So, like, I'm like, buh, 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 Until I just shoot the final beam, then I have to reload. And, you know, you have a scope as well. Like, yeah, I think it's pretty, it's a pretty good help. The damage is a bit weird, though. But that's all I have to say. Not the biggest fan of this craft. I don't really know what's the point. I think it's really weird. But, you know, that's what it is. So, that's it for today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed for today's video. I know, you know, that it's, 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 the explanation was pretty shit. But I hopefully you guys enjoyed. And hopefully you learned something. And I'll be seeing you all next time. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to drop a subscription. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to follow Twitter. Follow the Instagram. Join the Discord. Join the Fox down below. And join the VNC clan. And join the Discord as well. Because we're trying to get the members back. You know, I'm sorry for the activity. And I'll be seeing you all next time. Peace out.